Alrighty guys, welcome back to 1822 MC Adventures and More. This is my channel, my name is Pete. And the other day I had you all hyped up for a fishing expedition. Well, I lost a lot of the footage. Hate it when that happens. So, we're going to go over my gear that I went over already. So, without further ado, let's do this guys. So, I had mentioned in the little short, I said 2, 4, 6, and 8. So, I had... My little ugly stick with a little optics quantum reel. This has got two pound test with, uh, all right, you. Come here, you. Mm. He ain't had his 15 seconds of fame yet, and he already thinks he's a superstar. This here is Ernest T. Spaz. His name was Ernest T. Bass, but. It got changed to Ernest T. Spaz because he's a spasmatic cat. And he's running loose in the yard and coming in the house when he wants to because two weeks ago we cut his nuts off and now he's just a it. It's, you know, it's kind of funny though with animals like cats and dogs, you can cut their balls off or you can uh, pull their uterus out. It doesn't change the fact that they're male and female. They just can't reproduce. Funny how that works, ain't it? Anyways, we put him out before he gets in trouble. And his video will be out probably later on today. Come on, buddy. Now, don't be a nuisance. All right, so like I was saying, my little uh, optics quantum like number 10 reel with four pound, four pound, two pound SOS line and two pound fluorocarbon leader. Lots of fun catching fish with this one. And then the four pounder is a Zebco Micro 33 with four pound high vis yellow line. Had a little crankbait on there. Had zero luck with the crankbait. Not really one of my confidence baits, but I would. I got a bunch of them. I'd like to learn how to use them. I know they're good at certain times of the year. I just need to catch fish on one and get, build up my confidence. All right, now I'm not going to show all of this, but what this is is an old Shakespeare, about a seven weight fiberglass fly rod, and I've got a old shimano fx 1000 reel on here with six pound test and the other day i had a bank sinker on here with a swivel and a hook i was doing some bottom fishing trying to see what was on the bottom and unfortunately there really wasn't anything on the bottom the day i was there and this here is a abba garcia hank parker medium weight rod and it's about six and a half i'm six and a half foot tall so we'll say it's six and a half foot and i got eight pound test on here and this here is my lose speed spin that uh if you follow the channel you know that when i found that little uh, ugly stick this was attached to it i cleaned it up real good oiled it lubed it did all that good stuff put some eight pound test on it and i had a Carolina rig on here, which uh, when I go back out, I'm going to change this, I think, to a Texas rig. I have a lot more confidence with a Texas rig. But, uh, and the, I had went out there, it was Friday, I believe, but I'd gone out there Wednesday. Friday, I went out on Kimasabi, and uh, Wednesday, I'd went out there on Silver, and all I had was this little pole right here. This is just a little eagle claw packet. You whiz it out like, you know, a little flip of the wrist, and you got about a five-foot pole. I caught a few fish with this one. I like it. I found this pole, and when I did one of those homeless cleanups, I didn't say nothing about it when I found it because it was all nasty, covered with dirt, and just, I turned it a couple of times, and it just was grinding bad. I thought, well, maybe the pole at least will be salvageable. But I ended up saving the whole thing, so lucky me, right? So without further ado, let me readjust the camera and let me show you my camera bag and how well it's working out for me. 
Alrighty guys, so this is what we're gonna do here. Let me move this stuff out of the way real quick. All right, and I do have another video coming out about this Romanian army shoulder bag. I originally bought it for a camera bag, but, uh, and it still is a camera bag, but it's dual purpose now. The only modification I've done to it is I did put a couple grommets in there with a hook on some stretchy cord. That way I can adjust it in as needed. So that way these ears are not hanging out past the uh, top flap. Thought that would just be a good idea. So what we got in here, besides this being a cool ass uh, shoulder bag, and the leather straps, full disclosure, you got to order these extra or you'll be getting some cloth straps. Don't let the pictures on the website fool you. Spend the extra $8 or whatever it was for the straps. Oil them up. You'll be very happy. It's a two-piece bag. So on this side here, I've got all my GoPro stuff. On that side, I normally would have my digital camera stuff. Well... You'll have to see the other video for that. But what it is now is it's a GoPro and a fishing bag. So I can carry more than just a little pocket tackle box. Trying to find the perfect system. And as you all know, there is no such thing as a perfect system. No matter how you set your gear up, you're always going to want it to be a little bit better. But for right now, this is working out good. So I got my handy dandy fish rag. Got a bag of bobbers. And the yellow and green bobbers also have bobber stops for them so I can uh, fish in deep water. Right here is two pound and four pound trilene leader. <clears throat> in case I catch something with some uh, teeth. Neon trout magnets. Never can go wrong with those, right? My vintage pocket tackle box and what I have in here is hooks, sinkers, quill bobbers, nail clippers, and a side cutters. And this will change probably every time I go fishing. What I got in this thing here is I got stuff to go bottom fishing if I want to catch like catfish or bow fins or something like that i'm pretty much set up with that box there to do that this box here i've got some hard crankbaits i got some top water stuff i've got some joe flies i've got some little mini crankbaits got some grasshoppers and i got some beetle spins and i got some mep style spinners pretty much everything in here is in here because i've caught fish with it at one time or another and this right here, because of the loose speed spin I found, I'm going to have a dedicated bass rod. I'm going to start doing some more bass fishing. I got plenty of stuff to go bass fishing with. I just don't target them. You just, as you follow the channel, you know, most of the time I just want to go find a nice quiet place to go catch some uh, brim or a catfish or a bowfin, and I'm happy with that. But um, I need to start getting a little more specific about what I'm wanting to catch, I think. I think it'll just be better for everybody and what I got in here basically is I don't know what color this is a Berkeley power bait that used to be a much more of a reddish maroon and black I've been fishing this color since the 90s like when I bought that color and I'm very confident with it I've caught fish in Florida with that color and up here and I got some needle nose uh, sinkers. I've got some little worms. And I've got some, I guess these are called Cinco's or do nothing worms. I got these big doohickey worms. They're like a yum yum worm or something. I don't know. I'm not real familiar with this stuff, guys. We'll be learning this together. I got some red ones in there. Got some leader. Got some hooks. So for basic bass fishing this right here should get her done and it all fits in there with room to spare so what do i think about this bag oh yeah and of course i got some uh shop mat inserts to help keep the bottom straight right 
Okay, all this goes right back in there, lickety split. Well, there we go. And hold on one second, because someone's going to want to know this. This box here is a the flambe or however you say that. I don't know. It's a Walmart box, whatever. It is about nine and a quarter by four and three quarters. So if you got plastic boxes about that size, they'll fit in here easy peasy. Put that bad boy in there. Put that bad boy in there. Put the trap magnets in there. Put this flap like that. Put this like that. And what I got here. I got a ground cloth with some stakes if I wanted to like just sit down in the dirt somewhere and have a picnic and a cheap rain poncho in case I get caught in the rain. And this thing's got these big wide uh, canvas adjustable straps. So far I'm liking it. Uh, I've actually been thinking about ordering two more and what I would do is I would find uh, an upholstery shop or somebody with a heavy duty sewing machine and we would cut these straps sew a pair of these together and I would use them as saddlebags <coughs> I'm thinking with these straps I can tie on a, a sleep system I can tie on a hammock system a tent whatever and uh, it'll look pretty cool because my uh, saddlebags that's on Kimasabi right now they're starting to show their age and I got to replace them but uh if you're looking for a camera bag slash fishing junk bag, camera bag, whatever, lunch bag. We'll be learning this as I go along. This was like 20 some dollars. You catch them on sale. Just buy it. Just like I said, buy the straps. And uh, without further ado, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the fishing hole. And I'm just going to show you me catching fish. I'm not going to explain it. It's just going to be, pow, I got one. Hey, look at this. Pow, I got another one. Look at this. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. I certainly did. Appreciate you watching, and we will be back out in the woods soon. All righty, guys. As you can see, I found me a new fishing hole. And I've already caught a long-eared sunfish and a shell cracker. I wanted to go to a couple other places that I had scouted out, but thanks to fucking scumbags, those places are now posted. So I'm out here on the uh, western side of Jones County. I'm not telling you where I'm at because there's no fucking garbage here. So obviously not many people fish here and the ones that do take care of it. So let's go ahead and rig up and catch some fish. Whoa. Ooh, what do we got here, guys? Looks like a shell cracker. Not a bad one. He's pretty. Yeah, horn blows. How about the driver? All right. Let's get situated here, guys. Here we go, guys. Ooh, got one. Ooh, another warm mouth. Yep, pretty little warm mouth there. Ooh, I got another one, guys. Whoa. 
This one's got an attitude. Whoa, come on, boy, get out of there. Ooh, what do I got here? Holy shit. That's a nice one, guys. And I didn't bring a stringer with me today. Wow, look at the size of that one. And a nice hook set. Man, that's about as nice a stump knocker as they come, guys. Back he goes. Ooh. Ooh, that must be the stump knocker hole over there, guys. There's another one. All right, I'll take it. Yep, pretty little stump knocker. Ooh, guys, I got something huge on here. Four pound test. Ooh, it's a fucking bass. Wow. Holy smokes, guys. Alrighty, guys, now that is a bass. That's a nice one. Wow. Well, I dropped him, but still. He's nice. Oh, look at that. He's got fucking parasites on him, guys. Can you see that? That fucking sucks. Here you go, bud. Well, that motivates me to want to try to catch another one. Dang, a bass. I don't catch bass very often, guys, so that's a real treat for me. All right, I think this will be the last cast. <laughs> oh, well, I think I'd rather say my last worm. All right. Well, I tell you what, that really surprised me to catch a bass like that. Very happy for it, that's for sure. Ooh, nice. Too bad he had those parasites on him. Ooh, got another customer, guys. Take it and run, Slick. world of sports dang it I got snagged maybe not Oh, come on, damn it. Well, I ain't fucking with this shit no more. It's the last rig I lose today. <laughs> All right, I'll give this guy a toss out there. Let's see what happens. Whoa! Boy, somebody snagged it immediately, guys. Whoa! Another little red breast. Wow. Sweet. As soon as I dropped that in there, man, he nailed it. Come on, boy, let go. Okay, I might as well just bring the worms over here, huh? Well, maybe with the storm coming, maybe these guys are going to uh, start feeding. Right? Stranger things have happened, I'm sure. Alrighty. 
But yeah, I was actually thinking about bringing that one back up and tossing it back out again. But man, as soon as it hit the water, it was like it disappeared. That's the kind of fishing action I like. All right, let's try again. Ooh. Ooh, this one's a little better, guys. Absolutely. Ta-da. Nice, fat one. Well, we'll just have to perform some surgery on this guy. There we go. Okay. All right, guys, I need to get this little guy back in the water. But, yep, nice little warmouth right there. Not super big, but they're feisty. That's for dang sure. And because that guy was pretty hung up, you know, it's nice to keep the forceps handy so you don't have to uh, abuse the fish any more than necessary, right? Ooh, boy, look at that. Holy shit, guys. Whoa, I got a fucking moose on here. Damn. Whoa, it's only two pound test. Look at this son of a bitch go. What is he? Got to be a bass. Oh, it is. Ha, I got to be a bass here, guys. He ain't real big, but boy, did he hammer that. Wow. Come here, boy. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Come here, you. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Nice little uh, quarter pounder with cheese, right? <laughs> Who knows the reference I'm making? There you go, buddy. Wow. I tell you what, if it's, I keep catching bass and stuff like that, I might just say, shit, I'll get wet. That was amazing. Man, he hit that thing hard. Let's get back in here and... See what we can do. That bass was sweet, man. Nothing like catching a feisty bass on two-pound test ultralight, right, guys? It's underwater, but he's running to me. Come on, dude. Run the other way. Ooh, I got him. All right, you little runt. Ooh, a bluegill. All right, you, come here. Little fucking bluegill, probably. Little bait safe. Go on, now take it. Take it and run, you little punk. <laughs> 